I don't know if you saw this play. I saw it. The the Hail Mary TD. Four man rush. Fine. Escapes it. Now he's gonna heave one down the field for Kevin Jones. Are you kidding me? Kevin Jones has tied the game in thirty. Remarkable stuff. Ever tried at Mosaic Stadium. It should have been knocked down. It could have been intercepted, but it wasn't. We had the exact conversation last week about what do you do? Mm. Game on the line. Yeah. Drive on the line. You knock it down, knock it down. Or do you try and be the hero and intercept it? You know, the teaching tape, when I break down that film, is I would have told both DBs in the vicinity, knock the ball down. And don't go for the intercept, because that's what happens. Is that you, you knock each other out, the ball flies out of the air, flies in the lap of the receiver, he's able to still make the catch. You said he intercept it, because you just got to make sure you intercept it. Until you don't. And you had two riders essentially, or two Stampeders essentially, fighting each other for the ball, lands in the hands of Tevin Jones for a touch, which looked like it was going to be the winning uh, score until Paredes, with his 10th walk-off field goal, a 50-yarder on the final play when the clock hit zero, something that is also very Canadian, being able to continue a play when the clock hits zero. But someone who also speaking Canadians was on my all Canadian draft team, just to show you the strength of the team that I put together. Oh my goodness. But speaking of strength, do you now do you now see why? Do you now agree why? Sometimes discretion is what you need and you knock it down. If I were a coach, I'm gonna admit to you that I would still well, tell my D B Make sure you catch that ball. Really? Because the DBs looked like they wanted to tell each other something else. They were about to fight on the other side. Robertson, they had a chance to catch it. And I believe that if they were, if they, if it was them and the ball, they would make it. But you know, Circumstances and things you know, happen. DB, you know, look, 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 no, 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 And here's the reason why, no, no, here's the reason why, no, 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 here's the reason why. Because you gave both of those DBs that instruction and they listened to you and then they went into each other, neither caught the ball and the rider scored. So they actually are very coachable. They're listening to you, Absolutely. and it didn't work out. However, even if you told them both, knock it down. If they bump into each other, if they fight each other, they both try to knock it down. You know what happens? Between the four hands, trying to swat the ball down, it gets down. Does it always get down, though? I like to, I, if I'm a coach, I'm putting my coach hat on right now, because we usually put the executive hat on, but I'm putting my coach hat on. I'm coaching my, I'm telling my player to do what he continuously does, what he always does at practice. Do you I want to practice knocking the ball down? I want, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't ask you to knock it down. If you can pick it, you pick it. If you can catch it, you catch it. But I mean, you said what they, exactly. exactly. I'm, I, I don't, do I'm they, never do going to practice I'm never knocking the ball down. I'm never going, you don't practice that. It yeah. happens. You don't practice knocking the ball down. I do out not, of I don't practice knocking the ball down. I tell my DBs, I tell my linebackers, if you can catch it, you catch it. And so I'm not going to coach you something that is negative, something that I don't practice, I don't teach bad habits. That's what it comes down to. It's a bad habit. If you can catch the ball, you got to catch it. You make it count. Any way that you can, you make it count, DB. And, and he, oh, by the way, even if you, I've seen this happen before, DB, That's you go to bat the ball down. Are you telling me that you've never seen the DB to go back the ball down and miss? No, what I'm you swipe what I'm and you, you. No, 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 no. I need an answer. Times where have DB you seen it and or not? It and didn't intercept it and it got caught. I've seen that happen more times. We're talking about law of averages. All I'm saying is you the same way that they went up for the ball and try to intercept the ball. You used to hoop. That is like if they batted down, they could have missed it too. That, but it's not as likely. That is like in basketball, say. Don't deflect the ball unless you can steal it and regain possession. Don't you dare even try to play. Completely different. I disagree, sir. It's the exact same I disagree, thing. sir. It literally is the exact same thing. 100% disagree. I, 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 we, we have live evidence. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I mean, ultimately, what we just learned is that you're stubborn. Listen, now I'm going to have to wait and see for a DB to bat a ball down and miss the whole ball, a receiver catch the ball, and come back to you and say, look, just like I told you. But, 
you're, it comes back to premise to st- what do we start the show off of? Wait, what do we start the show off of? Premise can flaunt. Because if the DB can't even knock it down, they surely weren't able to catch it with two hands. The, knocking it down is a resort if you can't catch it. But in a scenario, but, but if you can't but catch it, what do you do? Hold on, hold on. You just made my point. I rest nope. my case, nope. ladies and gentlemen. No, you don't rest your case because the proof is in the pudding because it, they couldn't catch it because you know who caught it? Tevin Jones. Who scored? It so you so the twice. results dictate that they were wrong in that assessment and that they should have tried to knock it down. It's it's one thing to catch it if you if you need to catch it. In that scenario, you don't need to catch it. You knock the ball down, the game's over. End of story. Have End you ever story. seen a ball get knocked down, or you try to knock the ball, you miss? There's two things that could happen actually. You can try and knock it down and you miss. If you don't have the coordination to knock it down, you can have the coordination to oh, catch it. Well, these are the same guys. These are the pro athletes that are extremely athletic. When they get in the air, they can catch it. And yes, evidently. Maybe not the average person ev- on the street. Evidently, they can't because they, they well, they bumped into each other, which is not a normal occurrence. But it wouldn't even matter if they tried yeah. to knock it down. Guess what? You can jump in the air and bump and miss and swipe it. And guess what? But if you bump in the air and miss and swipe, you're gonna bump in the air and miss and try to catch anyways. So so that so that's not helping the odds. So maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't the scenario that we were talking about then. Because they bumped each other. All I'm saying is I teach the very same word that we talked and started off the show with consistency. I do not, I would never, ever encourage a teammate, encourage a uh, a uh, 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 as a coach. Encourage a player to practice bad habits. That's not, and that it's not a bad habit. It's it, being smart. No, it's not. No, it's not. When you can catch that yourself. Like, when you like, can catch it, you catch it. Oh.